Good morning, you spunky bastards. Actually, it's the afternoon right now, and I started this project a little bit late, but I just finished up recording some m -m 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 Minecraft for you, and the, uh, basically, the garden needs to be done. Uh, I've got a few days off college, so I'm going to do a little bit of work there. Um, the problem I'm having, as well as weeds, look at these guys, they're just coming up all over the place. You weren't even there the other day, man. Serious. They're like, all popping up all over the place. Cheeky little bastards. Little, these little guys, they're like the starts of trees, actually. I think that the uh, tree that's overhanging the yard is, uh giving off its little uh, sending in the troops, you know? Cheeky bastard. What am I going to do with these so they don't get in anywhere and re-soil? Um, right, re-sow themselves. Right, so the idea of the garden is, I'm going to try not to point you into the light. You can all see that. So there's like a little bench looking thing there. A little bench looking thing up here. They're all up on uh, Cinderbox, and that's uh, not Tinderbox, Cinderbox, Cinderblox. I can never pronounce anything right. Ha <laughs> ha. Right. So uh, the foundation's raised up on Cinderblox, and um, we have 16 feet of foundation here. But as you can see here, I hope you can see that, um, is that this Cinderbox box block cinder block is too low because the garden dips in the middle here so it goes down in the middle so I've had to had to wedge a two by four in there to take it to take it up so this doesn't sag but I need to level out this ground I need to throw down some some more dirt and pack it in and basically make a flat ground and it's going to be really really weird doing that because I don't think I have the correct um, correct materials to flatten this to make a stable solid ground like you can just throw down some dirt and drag a drag a board over it and that's a that's a nice good idea and all but then you've got the uh, then you've you know, if one side's higher than the other, and you drag the thing across, then you're not going to get a, a level garden. It's going to slope down one side, isn't it? So you've got to make sure that when you drag it, you're keeping the the bar parallel. I don't know if I can do that. How would you keep the bar parallel? The only way I can think is to put in a uh, put in a couple of two by fours down the side, fill in fill in the two by fours and fill in between the two by fours and drag a thing across the top so it keeps it level with the top of the two two by fours. Uh, bring the two obviously bring the two by fours up, uh, put a plank across the top and spirit level it so we know that the area between the two two by fours is going to be thing. But, that's very difficult. It's a muy difficult day. It's much easier when you do it in Minecraft, isn't it? As everything stays in nice, nice orderly square blocks. You go, oh right, one, two, three blocks high. Yep, we do all that. And you know, you get a nice, nice level, level foundation for your house, don't you? Well, not like that in real life. There's a lot more, a lot more thought and planning goes into it. Um, so I'm going to have to fix that. Do something about it. But that's it. Um, so I will speak to you, Spunk Bastards, in a minute uh, when I've figured out what the hell I'm doing. Hello, it's fun times at the ranch. Um, so I've laid a 2x8, uh, I guess, on here. 2x8, I think that's what it is. And um, I can't tell if this is level because I can't find the spirit gauge. However, what we do have, well, now I've put this on here, 
is that that extra weight on that end has caused that to spring up which tells me that either this bit in the middle is too high or this board is uh, severely warped and uh, well it's not going to be straight because that should not be doing that so either this bottom end needs to be brought up those two should be, it should be in theory at least the same height this one at the end is probably the one that's dipping the most so we may have to raise that one up too but that should not spring up like that unless this middle one is higher than this yeah well just eyeballing it I can I can see that that one's a little bit lower than this middle one but that's a lot of spring so that should not be that high unless something's severely out of whack um, so sorting out these um, cinder blocks to bring them all up to the same level is going to be more difficult but um, yeah it's going to be even more difficult without a spirit gauge so how am I going to do that? you know the little, little uh, rod with the bubble in the middle you lay it on something and, it's, and it, the bubble slides up and down yeah that bastard I wonder if I could make a spirit gauge from uh, from like an old water bottle or something like put the water bottle on and like if the water's in the middle of the bottle there must be a line yeah there's a line on here okay okay we can make that work so look let's take a couple of small 2x4s so we don't get some rollage okay so we've got two 2x4s and place them in the middle, about a bottle's width apart. Right, now put the bottle on like that. See that? Do you guys see that? Okay, so put the bottle on and then rotate the bottle so you've got the seam of the uh, seam of the label. Right, and your seam of your label is your is your perpendicular horizontal line or close to it and I think if I can see the water just right see that looks to be that looks to be about level actually it's dipping a little bit towards uh, that far corner but does that mean that mean we need to come up? Does that mean that side needs to come up, doesn't it? So this side needs to come up higher so that will balance out. But basically, that is a pretty good homemade spirit level, I think. Hey, I taught you guys something today. Aren't I awesome? Well, I'm probably sure you could have figured that out. You guys are smart. Um, but yeah, we're gonna need to move this like three or four times to find out where the height changes along this path but uh yeah okay so made myself a wee spirit level cool and i'll speak to you spunk bastards in a minute okay we're back and i have kind of found out that um this one the one in the middle that had the two by four jacked into it uh, needs to come up and this one over here in this corner needed to come up um, so when that one comes up that is also going to mean that this one needs to come up a little as well oh, it's getting more complicated as we go I'm sure there's a simpler way of doing this this, is, this really isn't my, my area of uh, my area of expertise, I think, because this doesn't. Um, no, this 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 isn't what I excel in doing. So this is all 
mostly a mystery to me, and I'm just making it up as I go along, but I haven't done too bad so far, I guess. Um, so, I will probably have an update for you next week, and that is what I'm going to work on doing, flattening all this out. But at least I know the problem areas and how much to bring them up by, uh, if you want to use my little spirit level uh, trick. Um, then you're welcome to, and uh, if you liked that, could you please like and favorite, and tell people that I'm awesome, and stuff, because <laughs> I love you spunky bastards, and I'll speak to you all later. Take care, peace.